of course, is known as the Bellwether State. John, it speaks to the winner in the last 30 uh, of the last 32 elections. Which way is it leaning in 2020? That's right, Foley. The entire world is watching not just Ohio, but the American Midwest. And that's because in 2016, Donald Trump broke down the blue wall of Democratic states that Barack Obama had relied on for two victory in 2008 and 2012. And Trump flipped state after state that he was not expected to win. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Uh, he did not he flipped Ohio as well by far more than he had the other states. That was the only one of those states that he was actually expected to win before the election. So now everybody is watching this entire region. Over the past couple of days, we've taken you to counties that are a microcosm of the American public, one in Wisconsin, one in Michigan. But really, in Ohio, it is the entire state with its mix of industrial, agricultural, and service jobs, uh, rural and urban regions that is a micro of the U.S. And so that's why it's called the Bellwether State. We put a story together about what's going on in Ohio and talk to the voters there. Please take a look. For decades, all routes to the White House have gone through here. Ohio has voted for the winner in every presidential election since 1964, and they take voting seriously here. I think it's, it's just most important, uh, especially if you want to see change. No Republican has ever won the presidency without first winning in Ohio. At Mayhall's bowling alley, winning is the name of the game. Here in suburban Cleveland, a diverse city with an international border, the crowd leans toward Democrats and away from President Trump. He's mentally unbalanced and he's a threat to the health and well-being of everyone on the planet. I'm looking for a change uh, this upcoming election season, just so that we can kind of get back on track as a, as a country. On the state's vast farmlands and in the factory town of Canton, where Apache Industrial Services recently expanded into coronavirus cleaning solutions, it penetrates the DNA of the cell. The workers lean toward Republicans and the blunt spoken president. He's straight to the point. He doesn't really take too much guff from people kind of says what's on his mind at the time. His character, not so much, um, but what he's done politically, what he's done for policies and stuff, I, I stand behind. Polls show Joe Biden and Trump in a dead heat here, where Trump won handily in 2016, but that was before the coronavirus and a wave of economic shutdowns. Ohio understands the importance of economic issues. Uh, Ohio also understands the moment the country is living. The Democrats have very wisely then shifted the politics to being the, the campaign to being a referendum on President Trump. With just days to go, both candidates have made a priority of navigating Ohio's shifting political waters. So Ohio has this fantastic history, voting twice for George W. Bush, twice for Barack Obama, and then in 2016 for Donald Trump. Picking the eventual president seemingly every time. But in 2016, a funny thing happened. He trounced Hillary Clinton. And that really was a, a predictor of what was going to happen nationwide. He beat her by about eight percentage points last time around. Well, this time, Joe Biden is proving to be a much more formidable candidate. He has just cast his vote in Delaware. I think we might have video of that right now. But Biden has uh, drawn far less negative attention than Hillary Clinton did last time around. And polls show the two in a dead heat. And that's why you're going to see both of these candidates, Trump, uh, Biden, and their running mates go through the Midwest and hit Ohio as well as these other states. Biden says in the coming days he's going to go to Wisconsin. Donald Trump has been hopscotching across the Midwest. This is likely to go up to the very last minute on November 3rd, and we won't know possibly overnight when that happens how many votes uh, are in favor of either of those candidates and who has won, because this is likely to be a very close election, and that is what Ohio shows this time around, a dead heat.